Greetings and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, where the glories of the Mexican Socialist Republic continue to pile up. Our latest and possibly most glorious conquest yet, the conquest of Bolivia, has been successfully wrapped up after Gallardo uh, himself changed plans halfway through the attack after stalling somewhat in the midst of the Bolivian jungle and he decided to call in all of his many and awesome armed forces for a mass assault which appears to have turned the tide for us. We have unfortunately only managed to secure La Paz out of it with Santa Cruz going to um, the uh, our allies the Paraguayans who think inexplicably that they helped rather a lot in the war. Frankly they got in the way quite a lot but it was only due to the intervention of Gallardo and his general awesomeness that uh, the war was finally won and we successfully conquered the country and um, you know anyone who says otherwise frankly um, I'm gonna have words with what happens next though what is our next plan um, have we got anything that we need to take care of here immediately no national focus set uh, we have 204 political power. Is there any national focuses that we may want? Uh, I suppose we could get submarine effort, maybe capital ship effort, destroyer effort, um, and continue to build up the canoe fleets to uh, higher and greater and more awesome levels. At some point, special forces, maybe as well, might be handy. Um, let's get submarine effort right now, because I know that we have uh, tier 3 submarines waiting. The boffins have got ideas sketched on the back of their... Um, tequila cocktail napkins for uh, ideas as to how we might improve our submerging canoes and um, you know they can they can get on that as soon as we've completed that effort uh, until then let's unpause it I think I think I have decided that Argentina must fall next I mean you know I'm tempted to attack in the north here um, it, it looks like maybe well, he's still, got, he's still got quite a lot of troops. The troops are moving around quite a, li quite a bit as well. I'm not sure what the United thinks. Uh, what, I'm not sure what the United States thinks, but I think, I think, the uh, war between the Allies and Comintern is kind of. It hasn't really gotten going yet. I, I suspect that maybe there's going to be some, some stuff going on up here in like Alaska um, and the border of the Soviet Union. I think as well, Canada looks like it's being pushed back by um, the uh, Ecuadorian puppets of Stalin here um, so that's good news I guess we don't really want Canada securing um, territory here in uh, in our backyard how are you doing anyway Canada have we managed to give it 34% con convinced to join the ways of communism um, that's that's good uh, I, I expect you to very soon um, realize that there is only one true path and that that path is Mexican socialism um, slash communism depending on your particular um, you know, thought. Anyway, look, let's get these Infanteria Bravados moving up to the border here. We'll assign them to uh, Louis Farrell who is now over his available limits. Um, now we could of course bring in additional commanders for the front line but I think Louis deserves a little bit of respect. I mean, he's been, whilst all the other commanders um, have been out, like, you know, Gallardo being the most charismatic man alive, conquering all of the Americas, Martin Bustamante being um, Martin, just just Martin, basically, busting mantis all around the globe, um, and indeed getting a European holiday, no less. Um, whereas Louis Farrell has basically just had to sit on this frontier and guard it. So let's give him a promotion. Are you sure you want to promote Louis Farrell? All positive traits and one skill point will be lost. Yes, it doesn't matter. You know, he is, he's just Louis. Um, and we really want him to be, what is he, what does he become? He's become like a field marshal. He is Field Marshal Louis Farrell. Technically, he outranks Gallardo and Martin, but I don't think anyone um, in the Mexican Socialist Republic would actually, oh, I can invite to faction. I can invite the Brazilian Socialist Republic to the faction. Look, they have they have finally come around to our ways. What is it? We have 57. Negative is 50. We need at least one more positive than negative. We have seven. Um, fantastic. Look, they have reasons to ally with the Mexican Socialist Republic. Seven. The Mexican Socialist Republic opinion. Ten. World tension. Twenty. Brazilian protective towards the Mexican Socialist Republic. Brazil, my friends. Welcome! Look, this obviously calls for a speech from Dino Enka. My friends, 
that long last the Brazilian people have finally come to the conclusion, the inevitable conclusion, that the Brazilian peoples are better off as members of the Green Dawn. Finally, my friends, the Mexican Socialist Republic will not be the only green nation within the Americas to be in the Green Dawn. And therefore, we can all agree that today, the door is a much greener than it was yesterday. And it is with a great sense of joy that I sign into law the invitation for the Mexican Socialist Republic to give the Brazilian Socialist Republic membership of the Green Door. Invite to faction. That's what we will do. They will accept. Look, this will change world tension by plus 0.26. That's already 100%. So frankly, I'm not sure anyone will mind. Send the message, unpause it. Our faction grows, look at that. The People's Republic of China has declared war on China, inexplicably. But more importantly, our faction grows. The Brazilian Socialist Republic has accepted the offer to join our faction. We stand together. Yes, we do, look at that. Now, um, as is, of course, always was inevitable, the Green Dawn is unstoppable. The Mexican Socialist Republic and the Brazilian Socialist Republic and indeed Paraguay, oh look, 51% party ideology, communism is only 51%. Um, do you think we should maybe boost party popularity in Paraguay here a little bit? I mean we don't want, we don't want, unless we just let them, would they like flip back to democracies if we let them? 49%? That's really close. Um, I think we'll just boost the party popularity. I mean, we could obviously turn around and conquer them, but then we'd have to conquer Bolivia as well, presumably, as they are their puppets, and it might all get a little bit messy. So let's just boost our party. We'll send in the agitators and, indeed, the um, party officials to spread the message of the Green Dawn and, indeed, to take extra supplies of tequila to the people of Paraguay, the workers of Paraguay. We must remind these workers of Paraguay where their tequila comes from and indeed their Cuban cigars and any other Mexican Socialist Republic luxuries that we choose to give to this, you know, pretty small and relatively insignificant nation next to the might of the Mexican Socialist Republic and our newfound friends and allies, the Brazilian Socialist Republic. Look at that, we can see all of their forces now. That's amazing. Oh, that's just great. That's pretty much great. Um, you know what? I'm feeling so bolstered by this. I'm feeling so so like um just completely and utterly enthused that i believe another war is in order gallardo um immediately has decided that he wants to spread the mexican socialist republican message to argentina with argentina in our bag i mean we could maybe take chile i, I reckon with argentina we could take chile in like one swift attack on santiago and a few other key spots we would just like storm in there whilst he's not looking um uruguay maybe we'll let Maybe we'll let the um, Brazilian Socialist Republic conquer Uruguay. And then, and then, my friends. Well, okay, with the exception of um, these Comatern nations and indeed this Federal Republic of Venezuela. And, in, okay, a, a significant part of the South Americans will be under the flag of the Green Dawn. And, um, and, and one day, one day, all of it. Uh, but before that happens then, let's, let's just justify some war on Argentina. Look, we're going to conquer this region of Argentina. Tucumán, Tucumán, yes, we shall conquer Tucumán, and in fact we're going to conquer all of Argentina, and um, you know, they'll just have to accept that that is inevitable. Um, I think what we might do as well is we might bring Martin Bustamante back for this, because he's really not doing anything in Europe. I mean, I'm pretty sure that the German industrial estate of Europe, uh, you know, if it gets attacked, it will fall. If it doesn't get attacked, um, then it won't fall. And Martin's presence there is irrelevant. Plus, these are good Mexican soldiers here, good Mexican workers um, of the uh, revolution. And frankly, they're probably they're probably a little bit tired of being so far away from the glorious homeland. Um, what I might do then is bring them down to like, I guess here. All right, I guess we'll have to wait until we have some convoys built before we can, oh look, there was one. <laughs> there was one, and then it's gone straight away. For trade and supply, we have 488 of a required 512. Uh, but however, the boffins have completed the research of the advanced artillery. Excellent. Close air support 3 has also been researched. All right, let's go with advanced artillery upgrade. There we go. 
we'll go with that and then um our clues air support 3 has also been completed so let's go with oh let's go with uh, streamline production there we go we'll improve our production efficiency production efficiency growth plus 25 percent um when we are building new and awesome things in the factories of the msr and there are many factories in the msr um, probably not as many factories in the MSR as we would like. What are we currently building? Oh, that's right. We're building nuclear reactors and also uh, many, many defenses along the front line. What have we got here? We've got three truck chicos. Let's add them to um, Field Marshal Louis Farrell's uh, brigade of, of Mexican defense that he has up there on the border. Um, fine. Let's unpause it and let time continue. South America is... Um, hold on. Uh, we actually have some supply problems down here. Let's see if we can boost the infrastructure up a little bit. Construction, infrastructure. Uh, we actually have three infrastructure that's already currently being repaired. Um, and we want more, more infrastructure in here as well. Let's put some more infrastructure in as well. Uh, these are gonna have to go all the way up to the top. Otherwise, it's going to be years before we get around to it. Years and years and years. And frankly, if we are going to invade Argentina from La Paz, then we are going to want to have um, our infrastructure well and truly sorted out before we even begin to think about that. Excellent. Um, you get on with that, men. Uh, Gallardo, we might as well start you planning your attack. What we'll do is we'll get a front line drawn along here. And then... Romania has capitulated. The Romanian government has gone into exile and their main forces have capitulated to the Soviet Union. Uncertain times. Um, we'll just get you to plan an offensive strike, I guess, straight to Buenos Aires. Um, just straight all the way down to Buenos Aires across the country. What could possibly go wrong? I suspect nothing at all. Um, do we need to assign any extra forces to you? What have you got? 24 currently of 24. Let's leave it at that then, I suppose. Um, let's send these down. And this guy can go up and join the front line. The Tanky Maximo. The first Tanky Maximo to be assigned to Louis Farrell. I mean, the first, in fact, the first Tanky Maximo to be assigned to anyone other than Gallardo. Um, hopefully no one will tell him that that has actually happened because he might get quite upset if that were the case. Um, and then what would we do? Have we got any convoys yet? We're still kind of short on convoys. Um, could do with a few. For trade and supply, 495 or 486. Total used, 495. Now, can Martin come home? Martin, we want you to come home. Can you come home? He cannot come home. We need four convoys, but we have zero to transport this division. We're going to have to wait. We still have zero. Um, should we increase production of our convoys so that we can get him home? Because, um, you know, it'd be nice. It'd be nice to have him back in the Americas. Just in case uh, it all goes horribly, horribly wrong and America suddenly decides that the time has come. It does look like their forces have been diminished here on the frontier, though, doesn't it? This whole region, there's whole areas that have just been left. It's like they don't consider us to be a threat anymore, or perhaps they consider somebody else to be an even greater threat than we are. This seems like a distinct possibility. The People's Republic of China is currently at war with China, and probably losing that the communist side is in no faction. Do you want to join the Green Dawn? No? Apparently not. They have 220 negative reasons to join um, because the People's Republic of China would rather be part of Comintern, apparently, but I'm not sure Comintern wants them at the moment. Comintern is not doing brilliantly well, it has to be said. The Polish People's Republic is having some combat going on. Budapest. Dino Enka brings revolution to Argentina. While we have consolidated the socialist society in the Mexican Socialist Republic. The submarine effort has been completed. Let us pause it, my friends, whilst we continue to read this very fine speech that has been written for me by the people of Dino Wood, as I like to call it myself. Many nations still suffer under the despots of old. The workers of Argentina have no voice, no means to organize, and any attempt to institute socialism will be crushed savagely by the Casting Pedro Justo regime. We cannot wait for the gears of the international revolution to turn for the Argentinian people. 
No, my friends. Not whilst Argentinian babies are being used as skates that they strap to the feet of the bourgeois and then go out onto the rink of ice and skate around. Oh, the frost burn that these babies experience is most terrible. And we, the Mexican Socialist Republic, will put an end to it once and for all. Argentinian workers, your liberation is near. Hurrah! Hurrah for the Mexican Socialist Republic! Viva Mexico! Um, and etc. Have we got those convoys available yet? Apparently the convoys are still not actually available yet. Do we manage to... Should we put even more? Even more convoy. Look, we... Um, didn't we do close air support? Let's switch that over before I forget. Close air support 3. We'll put that on production. We're currently producing super heavy tanks. Are we actually deploying any super heavy tanks? We are not. Look, we need a super heavy tank division. We're going to duplicate the tanky maximos and we're going to make the tank key uh, why does this still say tanky with a K that's not the way that it's supposed to be I assure you um, ultimo tanky ultimo and these of course will be ultimate super heavy mega tanks um, of uh, sheer awesomeness and devastating power and terrifying um, earth shattering uh, enemy crushing Bone twisting glory, along with also rocket artillery. Rocket artillery of great uh, raining rocketiness that shall rain down upon our foes and bury them beneath uh, their rockety glory. Tanky Ultimo. Let us save that division. Let's train up three tanky Ultimos. Uh, in fact, let's train up four tanky Ultimos. There we go. It's going to take us a while to actually make all of that stuff. But we'll bring them up here in the north. Oops. Recruit uh, recruit in the north. Ready to go in. Possibly not in a mountain. There we go. Tampias. Tamulipas. Tamulipas. That is where uh, you shall be. And that is where um, we want you to be. Indeed. Uh, should we get some more Infanteria Bravados as well? Um, let's get another like four divisions. Of Infanteria Bravados to go up onto the frontier there. Even though the Americans may have abandoned it for now, I think we can be fairly safe in assuming that they will be back. Mexico's good. Excellent. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen it. I really want those um, convoys though. Let's, um, let's put it all on the convoys. Convoys. We want many, many convoys. The rest can go on back on um, cruisers. Heavy cruisers of the three come on come on now stop stop trading everything to everyone else and instead bring back Buster Manti he's really getting agitated about this now I mean he's been trapped in Germany eating German sausages um, and um, wearing lederhosen to try and blend in with the locals but it isn't working um, it's just not working he is a Mexican to his core and only in Mexico and its you know dependent and conquered territories will he truly feel at home um, and it's about time we brought him home for that very purpose come on come on Martin we want you back we want you back where you belong um, in uh, this land back you come back back with you can we reserve convoys for him I'd quite like to reserve convoys for him if that was at all possible um, but uh, apparently at the moment it is not possible it is not allowed and it shall not occur Never mind. If necessary, I'm sure Gallardo can do it all on his own. Um, and uh, and he will prefer it that way, let's face it. Dino Enka, angered by Argentinian posturing. Those naive citizens of the Mexican Socialist Republic who imagine the Argentinian people of peace are entirely out of touch with reality. Yes, my friends, I am dusting off one of our oldest and yet most well-received speeches to date. But I shall add to this that the Argentinian bourgeois elite, not only do they ice skate on the babies, but also it is said among many that when it comes to their dinner habits, they are really quite disgusting. With the throwing up their food after they have eaten it and then using that food and throwing it at the passing peasants as a form of entertainment. Oh, 
these people. When their liberation comes, they will embrace the Mexican Socialist Republic with open arms, I can assure you. Regardless, we must be ready for the people of the war, or whatever it was that was written on my speech. I do not care. Um, excellent. Dino, uh, you just carry on, like, you know, rabbiting on somewhat insanely. I think we've sorted out the supply issues, which is good. Have we completed? Uh, the repairs in La Paz are currently underway. The infrastructure has been built. We now have capacity for 31 troops. That's excellent. That is all that we really need for our 24 glorious members of the army of uh, the Legion, no less, the Legion of Bravado and Joy. It'd be quite nice to get that underway. I'm really concerned about our lack of convoys. Where, what are they all getting consumed by? We should be producing masses of them. Masses. Of, should we actually, like, maybe we're, like, over-trading some things. Look, we've got massive surpluses here. We don't need all of this. There. We don't need all of that. Um, we don't need all of that either. Do we need all of this? We're not actually bringing any of that. We don't need all of this. We're, we're massively over-trading stuff that we just do not need. Um, fine. What have we got? We've got 202 convoys now. Martin, I have busted the convoy fools. Um, they were producing or trading a far too much stuff out to the rest of the world. I don't know what they were thinking uh, in doing all of that trading. Was it giving us extra factories? Maybe it was. I don't know. But frankly, I would rather have you and your boys back in the Americas um, ready to help us in a glorious assault on the Argentinian people rather than um, faffing about with all of that stuff. Look, let's unpause it and let them return. Return home to the conquered territory of Colombia. And uh, there they shall be made to feel most welcome with uh, a huge serving of tequila. For, na for, for quite a long time, they've had to make do with the tequila that they took with them to Europe and some kind of European replacement for tequila that we palm off on the Germans um, because they don't know any better, not having originated in the Americas. Um, we brew it in, um, in one of these cities here, Stettin, I think, probably, or maybe Rostock. Um, that is where we make the European tequila, but it's not true tequila. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't have the true punch of uh, the genuine Mexican Socialist Republican tequila brewed in Mexico City by um, sombrero-wearing um, Mexicans of unimpeachable character uh, and indeed awesomeness who sit 24 hours a day watching Gallardo movies on uh, massive projection screens that are arrayed around them and the entire room is filled with a perpetual mist of Cuban cigar smoke to um, to facilitate their concentration and um, general state of mind. Uh, whether it works or not, frankly, I have no idea. But certainly people seem to like the tequila, so um, that's all that matters really, isn't it? Uh, how are we doing down here? Look, I thought I gave you guys orders to join the front line, did I not? Well, have orders to join the front line. There we go. Off to the front line with you to join with Louis Farrell. Um, hopefully this is going to be enough to eventually conquer Panama whenever that time comes. It'd be nice to have some intel on them, wouldn't it? But no, we have no intel. We've got, we've got planes here. We do. We've got loads of planes here. Uh, let's send them back to reserves. Because what we're going to want is we're going to want planes down in the south. Dino Enker questions Argentinian sovereignty. Who determines the borders of any... Why do we even talk about these things anymore, my friends? We in the Mexican Socialist Republic have long accepted our ultimate destiny and right is to rule all of the Americas, and that includes the bourgeois north, even if they think that we are not a threat anymore, and that they move their forces to deal with foreign enemies. <laughs> Let me tell you, my friends, this could be a catastrophic mistake. They're not listening, are they? No, why would they listen to us? Anyway, my friends, more important than that right now is that we must attack and conquer Argentina in the near future. We have also, <coughs> we have also completed research of our night vision goggles, which means we can now attack at night if we want to, which I think is, of course, um, thoroughly awesome. Mechanized infantry. Uh, how's our, like, rocketry technology coming on? Time to research. 46 days. It is currently being researched. It is not quite there yet. Um, 1944. February 1944. 
No point in researching nuclear bombs just yet, I don't think. Um, we could maybe go for, like, improved radar. Um, on the assumption that maybe one day we might actually build some radar stations. Um, maybe? Possibly? Who knows? Who knows if that will actually happen? Uh, let's deploy some planes out here then, ready for our attack. We're going to want close air support. And we're also going to want tactical bombers. The time for conquering Argentina will soon be at hand. In fact, how long do we have to wait right now? Uh, the 12th of April, 1944. It's currently the 17th of February. So a couple of months, but a few months, two months, in fact, and the conquest of Argentina. Argentina will commence. Um, Martin is not back yet. I think they're still out at sea. Um, they're still crossing the Atlantic, slowly but surely, working their way across in the finest transportation canoes that we could send for them. They're, of course, eager to get back to the Mexican Socialist Republic now. Um, desperate, one might say. They're just being entertained on the boat as best they can. Advanced artillery upgrade complete. Excellent. Um, should we upgrade our rocket artillery then as well? Let us up let us upgrade our rocket artillery for more and greater rockety artilleryness. Um, we need to change up our um, production so that we start producing the advanced artillery three. It's all, it's all looking rather good, isn't it? Here, uh, mechanized offense has also been completed. We could get improved heavy tanks and then on to modern tanks. Should we do that? It'll be like 19. 45 and we can grab modern tanks um, to supplement the tanky Ultimos. Um, we, can, we can make the tanky Maximos uh, into modern tanky Maximos whilst the tanky Ultimos continue to rumble around the countryside being uh, thoroughly awesome and uh, and most impressive as well. Uh, speaking of tanky Maximos, look, we've got a new tanky Maximo. Let's send him in. Send him in! Send him up to the front. Look, they seem to be gathering a lot of forces on one side. The Americans are even fewer. Look, it's like they've just moved all of the troops away. They just have no intention of fighting the glory of the Mexican Socialist Republic. I think they might actually be scared. I think possibly, like, the Americans, the, the, the Gallardo movies have become so popular in America now. Um, and his myth and legend has become so awe-inspiring to the people of North America that any idea, any concept, any notion that they might wish to attack the Mexican Socialist Republic and would have any chance of winning in such a war has just completely gone out of their heads. Dino Enka, meanwhile, questions the motives of Argentina. Can there be any doubt that the Argentinians mean to declare war on us? I don't think there can be, my friends. But we shall declare war on them first. For let me tell you now, I can exclusively reveal that the legendary war hero, Martin Bustamante, has returned from his foreign adventures. And he is now, even now, preparing a glorious and surprise naval invasion into the Argentinian capital. And it is by this bold move that we shall have victory, my friends. Yes, that is precisely what Martin Bustamante is going to do. He is going to use his legendary cunning and... Um, military naval invasion planning skills to try and regain his position of uh, respect in the Mexican Socialist Republic military forces by planning a naval invasion from this region all the way down to Buenos Aires. It is our most distant naval invasion to date. It is our boldest move to date. Um, and frankly, it may or may not succeed. I mean, that is a port. So if he manages to secure the territory, um, then he will hold it. And in the meantime, of course, with Gallardo attacking from the north, hopefully drawing all of the Argentinian forces away, um, we will have glorious um, and epic victory before they even know what is happening. Um, that's the plan. Anyway, we're probably not going to be able to take all of the forces with him um, because he's got 14, and I think 10 is probably still our maximum. There we go. 10... Ten forces assigned to the mission. Look, we're not actually taking these seasoned, experienced level fourers. Um, we should maybe take them, actually. There we go. The seasoned, experienced uh, level fourers ready to go in and conquer Buenos Aires in a glorious and uh, magnificent assault that will come in the future. How long have they actually got to plan for that? Um, 
zero of 49 days. We need South American coast and the Argentinian coast covered by the canoe fleets. Where are you, canoe fleet? Uh, South American and Argentinian. South American coast? Oh, okay. What, we're going to go around this way? Um, fine. Let's go to search and destroy. There. There. Sure. Okay, fine. Um, and maybe South Georgian Sea as well. And then we better change the second canoe fleet over. Peruvian, Western Canal Zone, and the Caribbean Sea. How's that? Are we now all set? Well, we possibly haven't actually moved into position yet. But once we have moved into position, will we be all set? Look, there they go. The first canoe fleet. The, the wonderful first canoe fleet, still commanded by Paul Suarez, the canoe guy, who all those many, many years ago, it seems like an eternity ago now, all those many, many years ago would canoe around the shoreline of Mexico, ensuring that the original home territory was safe. And this was back in the day before we conquered any of these other regions. And he had to like pull it out um, and like haul it across the land somewhere around here and then continue the patrols along the other side. Oh. I mean, he was truly a hero, truly a hero of the Mexican Socialist Republic. Uh, it looks like the fleets are in position and therefore we now have enough intel. We've got another 30 odd days. 34 days of preparation time before that attack can commence. Meanwhile, Gallardo has also fully prepped his forces. Yeah, they're all ready, rocking and ready and raring to go on this glorious assault, the glorious campaign to conquer Argentina. A campaign which will see us, when complete, be the majority owners of the South American area. And with our new allies, the Brazilian Socialist Republic, together as one mighty force, we will finish off the last few remaining forces that need to be dealt with before turning our eyes to the United States and Canada beyond it. We shall conquer these lands and we shall do it in the name of the Green Dawn for all the Mexican socialist workers of the Americas, whether they be Mexican by birth or Mexican by conquest. Of course, that will have to wait. For next time. Until then, thanks all for watching everyone. I have been Weird Wizard and I will see you later.